Hello wonderful people on the internet, it's Oliver Oche once again from Oche Dev channel. So we are still on our playlist where we are building smaller beginner projects in Python. So today's problem we have a shipping calculator to build a, a project that is supposed to calculate the shipping cost for an e-commerce retailer. So I'm going to display the, the question as usual for five minutes. You can pause it at your end so that you'll be able to read it better. Okay guys, let's get into our problem. Let's get into solving it. So from our question, we realize that there is a base shipment cost for the first one, which is which will cost this. So let's call it first shipment. It's going to cost $10.95. And the subsequent ones are going to cost. So let's put that one. Let's call that variable change 2.95 okay so let's write the function so def calc shipment calc shipment it is going to take an input from the user user input okay so we notice that it if the the shipment order is just one it's just one item it is going to cost just the base or the first shipment so we will check from the user input the user input if it is equal to one if it's equal to one then we return return the the base shipment or the first shipment but if it is more than one okay if it's more than one we we return the base shipment or the first shipment the first shipment plus the the number of items left which is going to be the user the user the user's input minus one times the the charges on the subsequent ones which is going to be to the the change the change okay so that's what you are going to return so now let's write a dunder main. So if name is equal to dunder main, dunder main. Okay. Then we are going to ask for the user's input. So the user input. First, we are going to wrap it inside because you are taking the number of. Uh, or the, the number of items that are inside the, the order so it's going to be an integer so then you take the input the input so please enter the the quantity of products in your order Let's place some styling in it. All right. So first, we are going to check if the user input is not is not equal to zero, because if this uh, equal to zero, then our function is going to break. First, we are supposed to check that. So if it's not equal to uh, zero, then we call our total cost, our total shipment is going to be equal to calc fair calc shipment and we pass it the user input. Then when we are done we print out our our cost. So your total shipment shipment cost is in dollars then you are going to use string interpolation for that so you are going to use f string so total shipment total shipment let's correct this thing out okay total shipment full stop 
so now let's handle if the user provides an invalid or a zero let's give it just a print out print print please enter a valid quantity number thank you let's also add a thank you here all right so we are done with our 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 solution for this this mini project so let's run and see how it's going to be like okay so let's say we have 10 orders so we have it let's run it again I provide it zero just to test it out you see we have our error over there in you can you can use a while loop over here a while loop so a while loop over here so that it is going to ask the user to provide a valid uh, to provide a valid uh, a valid quantity until before until the car shipment is run so that one too can be done this project can be a small piece of a of an e-commerce project which you can build with python or with flux and you can build with django or flux sorry for that so nice being with you guys again thank you for watching if you value what i am doing please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video you can also comment below it's going to help, really help with the youtube algorithm thank you and see you next time bye